Hello and welcome to the For Your Ears Only podcast. Today we have a special. We we are looking at the recasting slash remake of old Bond movies. My name is Derek, this is Jack, and today we are going to look at Diamonds Are Forever from 1971. If you've not seen these special episodes before, the premise is that we take the classic Bond movies and we recast them. That is the cast of the movie, the song, and any script tweaks as though they were made in the modern times. The modern times being 2024. (laughs) Yes. When this episode is coming out. So, as mentioned there, we're what, going to look at... What's Diamonds the caveats? Are. The caveats? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, if you've never watched it before, then the caveats, you cannot use any actor which has already been in a James Bond movie, i.e. Daniel Craig, Maz Mikkelsen, yep. Ray Fiennes, etc., etc. You also cannot use any actor or artist that you have used before. Mm-hmm. So we're going to run out of artists and actors <laughs> at a certain point. Yes. I think that's it, really. Yeah. Yeah, and it has to be set in 71 in this Yes, case. it has to be set, set in 1971. So we can't change too much of the plot because we've still got to be set in that era. Yeah. But obviously modern day actors. But that comes down to the script changes and such. Yes. The song's also not going to change. The melody, lyrics are the same. It's just but a cover. There can be a cover, a bit of a genre change, maybe. Mm-hmm. That That is allowed in this makeup game of ours. So we're going to go on to Diamonds Are Forever. Um, Jack is going to begin because I did the intro and messed it up many times, but you didn't see that. No, you didn't. Um, right. So last time we did it, you'd never you refused to cast a bond. I have still not cast a bond. You've still not cast. I a don't bond. think it actually matters. Right. Well, I think a James Bond film needs a James Bond. So. No. <laughs> so I, I'm going to cast it. If you've seen that the previous episodes in the sixties, I had front runner Henry Cavill. As my James Bond. But now that we're in the 70s, I'm going to say, in my hypothetical world, he's too old for this now. So I need a new actor. So I've gone for a man of the moment, and I'm going for Jacob Alordi. I don't know who that is. Do you have a picture of Jacob Alordi? You don't know who Jacob Alordi is? I right? probably do. But you do? He was... I do. What was he in? Saltburn. Oh, the... Not the... Barry Keoghan. It, it's definitely not Barry Keoghan. <laughs> is this a bathtub man? Yes. Okay. This guy. That man. I don't know, he looks a bit too posh. He is, he's Australian. He's Australian? He's definitely not posh then. Uh, he's young. Okay. Um, is that it? That, <laughs> he's Australian. Yeah. <laughs> well, but the, he, ha- he looks good in the tux, so I'll use my bond for the next decade. What you've just become there is the casting director from the 1960s on a Majesty's Secret Service. Yes. He's young. He's Australian. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're basically going back. That's really that. it, yes. No, <laughs> a I'm... completely different thing from Henry. So, okay. I'll say that again. My James Bond is Jacob Elordi. And my James Bond is, it doesn't matter. Okay. Not casting. But <laughs> I, I have continued a casting from the last movie okay. where we are not going to have the continuity issues of classic Bonds, where my Blofeld is still Mark Strong. Okay. Do you have a cast for Blofeld? No. You don't think Blofeld matters? <laughs> I don't have a cast for Blofeld because this... We'll go on to the, the changes in script. Oh. Yes. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Come back we'll come to back, that. back to Blofeld. We'll come back to that. Okay, so for the next person, I think would be good, is um, the next kind of big character is Tiffany Case. Who would you have for Tiffany Case? For Tiffany Case, I have... Karen Gillan. Okay. From The Great Gatsby. No, 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 no. no. I'm thinking Guardians. I'm, I'm Guardians of the Scottish yes. Karen Gillan. And from Doctor Who. A nice, feisty ginger. <laughs> just that is, is Tiffany Keys ginger? No, just that's just the cast. The, the cast? She was ginger. Remember Tiffany she Keys? changed her hair three times. Was she? She was a blonde and then she wasn't a blonde. And then she was a redhead or... I don't remember. Remember when they meet in the apartment? Yeah. She says, "Oh yeah, yeah that was it." Yeah. Hair. She okay. Different hair each time. Okay. That's uh, quite good one, actually. I think the the feistiness of that is actually. She needs to be feisty. Yes. Okay. Well, I've went along similar lines in terms of feistiness. With you might not know her as a Sarinda Swan. 
or Serene this one. I don't know them, but I've got a picture because I know you won't know who this is. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, if you can remember the last ones, I don't really know. Yeah, that's that's Serene this one. Um, most recently, I've seen her in the Reacher TV show. I've not watched which that. Which is it? Oh, Jack oh, Reacher. Jack Reacher. It's, it's like what one of the best TV shows right now. Tom Season Cruise. one came out. Tom Cruise is in the bin. <laughs> Tom Cruise was a bad casting. Yeah, but this Jack Reacher, and I have. The actual guy who plays Jack Reacher is coming out in that new Guy Ritchie movie. Alan oh, Rickson. Right, okay. Big man. Big, big, big. Um, she's in this and yeah, she plays an old army person and again is feisty, very attractive, could fight. Yep. So I thought, okay, that's quite good. Excellent. Okay. I don't really so, know anything about her to... That's, that. I've seen her in a couple of other things but I think it was kind of small roles. So next we have Plenty of tool, and I had quite a hard time with this. So, right, I never cast a plenty of tool <laughs> because she is such a minor. It's role. a small role, yeah. Well, yeah. I kind of wanted to go along the the comedic route, right, with it because every scene she's in is quite funny. Yes, apart from when she's dead. Um, but there is a, a certain degree of comedy with that, and I wanted something that could be quite um recognisable. So I chose for plenty of tool Annie Murphy. Right. Who's from Shit's Creek, and she was also in Black Mirror oh, for one episode that's right. as well. And she is funny, and I thought, oh, actually, that would work. That would work quite well. That would be good. So you have no one. I have no one, but no I would one. have said somebody like a J Lo, not J Lo. J Lo, Jennifer Lawrence, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, because she's okay. a comedic actor, and she's kind of young. Is she a comedic actor? She's in that. Isn't she? Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. What, like, Hunger the Games? The Hunger Games girl. Is that, is she funny? No, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who do you have now? Right. Who's casting? Okay. I think we could go on to... Does anyone... Do you have a Peter Franks? No, I was going to cast Peter Franks, but I didn't bother because I ended up just casting Willard White. Uh... And... I, I just, I, I only cast, of the other people, I only cast Willard White and Mr. Wint and Mr. Kidd. That's the only other three right. people. So do you have a, do you have a Mr. Frank? Or not, Mr. Frank, Peter Franks? I have a Peter Franks. I wasn't going to because it is such a minor role. The smuggler. But I wanted it to be somebody who looks like Jacob Lordy so that that plot device still works where they look the same, which I didn't. Kind of like me and, what was it? The previous episode. <laughs> <laughs> what am I just secret service? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I've got uh, Josh Hutcherson. Oh, I know. He looks a lot like him. Does he? In some photos. Okay. You could show him. In certain up. angles. Yeah. You could put makeup on him. Just just give it to the visual <laughs> effects team. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. He, and I wanted someone to so that that fight looks pretty good and he can like steal his identity easier or oh, the lift fight yes, or the, the elevator fight. fight i forgot about that actually did you have a willard white i didn't because again that goes in a minor role i put willard white in almost like a bit of a shock because i wanted someone to be recognizable mm-hmm. but i also wanted to make it a bit i don't know meta mm. just based on the character so i would cast robert downey jr because robert downey jr was tony stark who was based okay. on Howard Hughes, mm-hmm. who Willard White was taken from. And I That's thought, good. Ah. Plus, it's because it's a small role, it's like, it's Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, that's a, that's a good link. I just thought that could have worked quite well. And especially since Willard White is quite outspoken uh-huh. and can be quite loud, so can Robert Downey Jr. Essentially just play Tony Stark. And that's, yeah. that's it, just be Tony Stark yeah. in this movie for five minutes. I thought you were going to go another... St- Another way and say some like an actual well known billionaire like a Elon Musk. Elon Musk was an Iron Man too, and that was enough. <laughs> Richard, was, Br- yeah. Richard Branson. Uh, well, Richard Branson was my first go to, but then again, he does have a cameo in Casino Royale, so I couldn't cast him. It's not really. <laughs> is it the airport? <laughs> Getting frisked? Like this guy wouldn't be his own airport lounge, <laughs> his private jet. I suppose frisked. actually, yeah. Uh, I but that's that. the rules the rules are he's already been in one so. yeah, that's true so 
After I mentioned Mr. Wint and Mr. Kid, other mm-hmm. than those two, do you have anyone else in the movie? Other than Mr. Wint and Mr. Kid, I have a Felix and then the other recurring cast members. Why is your Felix? My Felix for the 70s. I can't remember who it was for the 60s. You'll need to go back and check that. <laughs> um, but my Felix this time is John Slattery. That does sound familiar. What was he in? The guy from Mad Men. Oh, right, yeah. I know what you're talking about. All right, because yeah, I gotta say he I, he did actually play um, Howard Stark as well. The, yes, he did. Yes, it's all yes, coming he together. Did. He'd be quite good, good actually, because he does look like I don't know a boffin. Yeah, yeah. He he would be a good Felix because well, he's American. Okay, is that, that it? <laughs> <laughs> he looks good in Mad Men. He, uh-huh. He'd look good in period dress that way. Yeah. Period We're taking a lot of uh, <laughs> taking a lot of people from Mad Men just go. They wear a suit. They wear a dress. <laughs> it's the sixties, okay? Yeah, basically. So that's all. So, Mister Went and Mister Kid to me is the 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 finest cast. Okay. Of this has got to be spot on. Right. So, I'm going to give mine first it's because I'm I'm intrigued to hear what you are. So, I went down the route where <laughs> Mister Went and Mister Kid have to be very recognisable, but they also mm-hmm. have to look quite weird. Right, yes. <laughs> so, oh, no. What two actors go together and look quite odd? Yeah. But at the same time, don't look repulsive, but just. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? People leaving the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't look at him anymore. Uh, so, for Mr. Wint, I went with Bill Skarsgård. Okay. Um, he is creepy. But I would make it out that he, he looked quite like Mr. Wint, so he did have the long hair. Okay. And just look a bit generally quite odd and Mr. Kid I put I can't remember the, the pronunciation D- it's Dane Dane Dehan so I don't recognise so you'll know Dane Dehan that's that's Dane Dehan so he was a Green Goblin in American Spider-Man oh. he was also an Oppenheimer for a very very small role yes, he's he also was. in things like Valerian as well um, he seems to have vanished off the face of the earth after that's Oppenheimer nice. but I thought they look very similar they do one is significantly taller than the other uh-huh. but that could maybe work because they are they are quite odd. Um, and they're both odd looking guys. The guys, yeah, or whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. And I thought that could be quite good. So, Mister Wynn, Bill Skarsgård, and Mister Kent, Mister Mister Kid, Dale Dehan. Right. Okay. I also for my Mister Wynn and Mister Kid, I went for. A duo, a, okay. a duo that are always seen together. And Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. But yeah, a comedic duo because okay. so it has to be someone that someone that are always, you see them in every film together. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wanted, they had to be able to pull off that they were best friends, lovers. Because you know how Mr. Mint and Mr. Kid are lovers. Mm-hmm. So I needed to be someone who has a good friendship. Uh, but also so out of the blue, you would never have expected it. So I've got, for Mr. Wynn, I've got Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Kidd is Owen Wilson. And you, I was going to be Owen Wilson or Vince Vaughn. <laughs> because okay. you always see them together and it, it would be funny to see them play like assassin lovers. Yeah, it would kind of be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it would be quite striking i suppose yeah you're expecting that scene where the helicopter blows up and going wow <laughs> <laughs> that's what people pay the money for yeah exactly it's something that i don't think either of those two have ever played a role like that no but it would be good um i, I have a problem with it though it, it might take people out the moment yeah it might i don't know it might make the movie not serious but then the movies are serious but this isn't a serious quite film. goofy i know it's Bond film. <laughs> it's a very good James Bond. Film. Nah. Okay, so then we have the song. So we'll do the song before because you've got script changes. So mm-hmm. the song, I, I did really actually really struggle with what to do with a song. I didn't really know anyone who's had a voice that would be like Shirley Bassey. Yeah. So I actually just went for Florence the Machine, not Florence Welsh, Florence and the Machine mm-hmm. to actually do a big performance of the song, That's and I good. thought, ah, maybe that'll kind of work with it that's good i chose her for some previous episode i can't remember what it was you chose florence well so i was very careful to say florence the machine oh that's okay i think we can cast other people yeah. that other person <laughs> can okay so i didn't need to do that you didn't need to do but that. uh yeah for the for the song for diamonds are forever i put uh, florence and the machine okay for the song diamonds are forever i've got 
Annie Lennox. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's quite good, actually. That's quite mad that Annie Lennox or Eurythmics never did a song. Yeah. Especially in the 80s. Yeah, they could have, actually. They should probably have done... Annie Lennox is a good one, actually. That's she, very good. Would, they would be good for, like, License to Kill. Yeah. That sort of whole 80s period of all the pop bands would have been good. Yeah. Yes, that's good. Annie Lennox I is think good. That'd, be good. that'd be good. Annie Lennox, the reason I have thought of her, because she was on the Grammys a couple of weeks mm-hmm. ago, where she sang a tribute to Sinead O'Connor, doing Nothing Compares to You. All oh, right. Was it good? it was very good. And, and did you think very, Diamonds Up Forever? Yeah, if I was a uh, Barbara, <laughs> I'd be like... Babs, you heard it. Yep, I think good. even if she was to sing a modern day song, I think it'd be fine. But then I don't know if they, they look for modern artists to try and they do. get young I don't know, audience. I don't know a younger audience. Maybe just kind of get a bit of, I don't know, get in with the culture kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. That's, that's a good way of putting it. So I don't have a plot change. <laughs> you have a plot change. Um, before you, Did you have any like Q's and M's and none of that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> just continuation. Ah, but mine's not because... It, Cause my, You've got a new bond, so I've got you a get new a, bond right. and a new decade. So all those people have been let go because they've played the role for ten. Let go. <laughs> they've played You're that fired. role for ten years, <laughs> and they're all too old now. Go do something else. But we'll get onto that. Okay. Later, or maybe the next episode. Just wait for it. Um, my plot changes goes back to the previous film where we swapped about Majesty's Secret Service and. You only live twice, remember? So it actually made sense. So it made sense okay. that you didn't know each other. So at the end of that episode, if you want to like slice that in or something, or just put a link up here, um, it was... I wasn't sure whether to kill Blofeld okay. at the end of it, because he does get killed at the end of the book. Spoiler. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this 70-year-old <laughs> book... <laughs> I've now decided that he was killed at the end of it okay. because it makes sense that his character arc dies as the new... So he's not in Diamonds Up. No, him. this new era comes in. So there is no Blofeld in my reimagining. There's no villain. The villain is <laughs> James Bond's own no, demons. <laughs> no, no. What I've done is I've stolen uh, an original script idea from the, the, the original film Okay. So instead of Blofeld, they were going to have, and I've said this in the episode, uh, Goldfinger's brother <laughs> was going to come back for revenge. Gold to <laughs> Golden Pinky. <laughs> the brand's new cat. <laughs> <laughs> the boy chin wonder. <laughs> Anyway. That was a blast from the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you had um, The Scarlet. What was it, Scarlet? I can't remember the other ones. Do you know it would be quite interesting if the if Goldfinger's brother was actually obsessed with diamonds rather than gold? Yes, well that was it. Okay. So Goldfinger's brother Is it anything to do with like, a space satellite with yes, diamonds? Oh it, 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 all. it does have a refraction laser, okay. Yes. Right. Just keeping it all. He's stealing diamonds. I didn't know what to call him. You know how Auric Goldfinger, because Auric is gold. Uh-huh. I couldn't think of anything for diamonds. Diamonds are carbon, so... Carl. So I was going to call him Carl or Carmen Goldfinger. <laughs> Carmine? <laughs> uh-huh. Something like that. Carmen or just Carbon. He's call him Carbon? Name. He's got a weird name. Carbon or Carmen. <laughs> carbon Goldfinger? <laughs> His parents hated him. <laughs> He's made of gold. <laughs> for Christmas Carbon Goldfinger <laughs> um, who's replacing my Blofeld is going to be played by John Goodman oh, you've cast John Goodman already have I? yes you have I'm sure you have in what? I don't remember but I think you've cast him already get a VAR <laughs> thing on the screen <laughs> I think you have Potentially, because he is a, a great actor, but I think he could match Goldfinger. He's the same build. He's got that big load. John Goodman's lost a lot of weight, and he I feel has. as though I've said this before when you cast him in something <laughs> before, and unless this is deja vu. Okay. If, if I've cast him, then 
There we go. Okay. But he would be good in that role. Maybe I did cast him as Goldfinger. Maybe that's maybe that's his <laughs> <laughs> Goldfinger's twin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's Goldfinger's twin brother! <laughs> Golden Toe! <laughs> Stop this man. <laughs> there you go, so John Goodman is Goldfinger and his brother, in the same way that Tom Hardy is both Kray twins. Okay, I was going to, I thought you were going to talk about the social network and Hannibal. Yeah. Cannibal. The cannibal. Okay, cannibal. Anyway. Anyways, that, that counts. Yeah, I'm allowed that. That's, okay. I've, I've got around the rules that way. Okay. My plot changed that it's not Blofeld because he died in my previous film. Okay. So it's Goldfinger's brother, uh, <laughs> Mr. Diamond Finger, is out <laughs> for revenge. <laughs> and he's obviously stealing the diamonds and making the satellite to get his okay. revenge on the US, which killed his brother. So he's not trying to start a war, he's trying to get revenge on the US. Yes, because his brother was killed. Okay. That does make a lot more sense than the actual... Um, Diamonds off I'm still going to have a big space laser made of diamonds okay. because it has to be. Why not? <laughs> it has to be weird and wonderful, and I have to, it has to be lighthearted enough where Penn Stiller and <laughs> Owen Wilson make sense as the villains. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be a bit stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. That was quite a plot change. In fact, it wasn't a plot. That was a completely different movie. <laughs> it wasn't that much we're, different. We're, we're keeping the space laser. <laughs> the whole diamond smuggling thing's all true. That's all happens. Okay. The only thing that's different is that instead of Howard Hughes being kidnapped by Blofeld, he's kidnapped by Goldfinger's brother. Okay. And <laughs> he's your brother. <laughs> okay. Well, that was certainly interesting. <laughs> Did you expect that? <laughs> that was good. There you go. Okay. Casting done. Song done. Plot done. Heck. Completely new movie. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this episode special of Recasting Diamonds Are Forever. Be sure to tune in the next time where we revisit Live and Let Die. Mm -hmm. Roger's movie. Roger's knowing this one. For Is obvious it? reasons. Um, but yeah, thank you much for, for tuning in. If you like the episode, then please feel free to share it. Feel free to like it. If you're listening to us, then, I don't know, follow us on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, whatever medium you're listening to. If you're watching it on YouTube, then please feel free to give it a thumbs up or some kind of derogatory comment. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Do you agree with the casting? What would you do? Who would you cast? Do you like my idea? Do you agree with Jack's fever dream? <laughs> 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 I can't remember his name. The brand's new guy. <laughs> okay, well. The carbon Goldfinger. Car carbon Goldfinger. Ah, <laughs> uh, before this gets any worse. Right, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.